this data this is nothing but the sales data or the total you know total business data rather i can say for a supermart right total sales data for a supermart and now if you look at this visual it say it tells you what was the total sales of that particular supermart now what if i want to see it by product line so what you observe over here is this is nothing but a cards right which we have understood in the previous videos right so this is just a card which simply shows you the total of sales or sum of sales for that particular supermarket now what if i want to see it by product line so you might come up with a suggestion that what uh, what we can do is we can just use a matrix right and over here it is showing the total and what i can do is i can take a product line column from here and put it into the rows and here is what i got which exactly i was looking for and you are not wrong this is true so you see the font is too small so i'll do a quick setting which is out of this context and that i can do from here customize and from here i'll go in text and i'll quickly increase it to 50. now it will be applied to all of the text whatever i'm going to have over here i am assuming this is quite visible for you now you see here it is showing by category now what about the uh, what about applying some sort of formatting like a, uh, making it bold in a different color those kind of limitation which you might have and that's where power bay provides you the another chart or another visual which is referred as multi row cards right so you have this kind of table all that you need to do is or maybe even if you don't have it let me show you both of the day let's say you have uh, both of the ways let me uh, let's say you have this kind of matrix now you want to show it you want to show it as a multi row card all that you need to do is select this and go over here and just click this multi row and here is what you get now what do you observe over here you see the product lines are written in over here and their values are written accordingly just below that you see now you can apply all sort of formatting which you want you can change the color it is looking relatively much better than what we had previously okay isn't it now this was the way where we just converted a matrix to a multi row card now let me show you how you can create it from scratch so create it from scratch don't need to do anything just click on this multi row card i'm just going to hide this bring it over here and from here what i would do is let me take total from here and put it into this and then i require to see this by a category so i'll just take it and drop it at the top and here's what i get you see this is what i got now it is simply telling you the sum of sales amount now what if i want to see the total quantity also which accounts for this amount so in multi row card you get that flexibility as well so what you can do is you take quantity and drop it just over here now let's see what how it's gonna look now what you see over here is for electronics accessories total quantity sold was 971 and total amount was this much so this is how the multi row card is beneficial for you now let's try to do some bit of formatting on this you can come come back over here and if you want to change this text that you can do from here just go over here and in rename total quantity sold total let's say total quantity sold total sales total sales by product product let, let's just keep it simple okay by product line okay total sales by product on total quantity sold by product etc or i can just keep it simple total sales because we already know that it is showing by product okay so i'm just going to keep it simple now let's try to have a look let's have a quick look in formatting part All right, so here let me just first delete this one because this is not needed and i'll come back over here go in visuals and call out values in call out values let me make it bold 
so these are the numbers i think that should be fine if i keep it normal right and black color is good let me just see the other one category labels that's something which i would like to make a little bigger oops not that one actually category label is also kind of good i would just like to make it bold a little bit and if i want to put it in a different color i can do that as well so let me do this as the category color cards yes this is exactly what i wanted to change which is nothing but the product name you see so that's something which i would like to i should put that in this color rather i should i i I'm uh, possibly I'm not good in choosing the color so you can make your own choice right and in call outs category labels I would like to make it little smaller so that it could be you know less than the cards okay and then the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to play around the color of these bars so let's see if we get the option for that hmm? so let's go in Chan general or maybe in visuals only all right so for that what I need to do is I need to go in category labels in right away here not in category label but in cards right I need to go in cards okay and in cards what you see is accent bar over here that I want to put that in blue color and I want to increase its width as well now you see this is how it is looking and this particular card value i still want to make it little bigger little more bigger right yes now this looks little good and let me make it on this color and because if if i make it matching to this bar color now that would look much better so let me make that way yeah now it looks much better you see so this is the use of multi row card in one visual you can combine multiple items if you want to put different measures you can put different measures as well but the advisable way is to keep two uh, two measures that looks that makes it look much better i just hope that it was easy for you to understand just in case if you get any further question put, feel free to put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out on that until then happy learning wish you